What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MLTLP and FINRA Saga. And on today's video I will show you the latest news directly related to our story. I will show you that we are about to see the a new, completely new a letter from Congress, from multiple Congress members. And because of this, uh, we have a call uh, to action uh, from Anna. Then I will show you how South Korea fights against uh, the illegal naked shorting and what is uh, their next step in this fight. And on top of that, uh, I will show you a result uh, of uh, AST share count and I will show you the next step in this process. So. And before we dive deep into all of this, I kindly ask you to hit the like button. It is uh, very difficult uh, to create uh, these type of videos on a daily basis and uh, it takes me uh, more than 4 hours uh, without any day offs. Today is uh, Saturday and I'm still working on, this, uh, on these videos. And uh, that is why I kindly ask you to just hit the like button in exchange of my hard work and uh, by this uh, action we will push uh, this video forward to the broader audience and eventually it will help us to win this battle. So let's start with the news itself. Anna Trades uh, wrote uh, this tweet. MMTLP, important call to action. Please DM me if you are working with congressional office uh, that is willing to sign an open congressional letter in support of MMTLP. Please continue calls and emails uh, to your representatives uh, seeking their support. If you need any meeting support, we are happy to help. And uh, by this uh, tweet, uh, Anna pretty much confirmed that uh, they prepared, they already prepared uh, this uh, new letter with some of congressional members. And if other congressional members uh, from uh, your state uh, are willing to uh, participate, uh, are willing to sign this uh, letter, Definitely, you have to contact them and uh, connect Anna and uh, these uh, congressional members uh, together. And I think uh, it uh, will happen, I, I mean uh, the signing of this letter and uh, the disclosure of this letter will happen uh, in a foreseeable future, in a matter of uh, just next uh, several weeks, I guess. So, let's move forward. Let me show you uh, this uh, news uh, that uh, is in my opinion very important and again South Korea is uh, ahead of uh, the entire world in regulations of uh, their own stock market. Let me show you that this tweet was retweeted by John Burda and uh, it was uh, originally written by The Wolf and uh, he said once again South Korea leading the way. They see something wrong, they act, they prosecute. No waiting 10 years to hand out uh, pretty fines. The conspiracy genre is dead. These crimes uh, are rife in the US and European Union. Action required. And uh, he refers to this uh, article that was uh, published by Bloomberg and it says South Korea reportedly seeks temporary ban on stock uh, short sales. And the key bullets are following. Government will prepare a plan on the ban next week, according to this report. Retail investors say they are disadvantaged by short selling. And uh, I think it is a huge step uh, towards the resolution of uh, the problem of naked shorting. But in general, uh, the short selling by itself is not a bad thing. But uh, a lot of companies are trying to um, evaluate this idea and they try to make it uh, uh, illegal by naked shorting. And uh, this is a real problem and this problem should be solved. So let me show you that uh, just a couple of days ago, uh, South Korea uh, made another another quite interesting statement. Uh, so on October 31st, uh, you can find this article on Korea Junyang Daily, and they said FSS uh, launches probe into global banks over illegal short selling. And this is another evidence uh, that FSS uh, it is a quite uh, similar agency uh, as uh, we have uh, on U.S. stock market like Finra and SEC. It is uh, their regulator. And they are fighting, fighting heavily against uh, this illegal activity. And uh, in my opinion, this is uh, the pure evidence uh, how U.S. Uh, uh, authorities uh, should behave. So, let me show you quite interesting tweet that was uh, published by Susan Trimba. And she wrote, why short when you can uh, fail to deliver? 
probably cheaper and less paperwork. Bonus, if uh, the company goes bankrupt from the damage done to their capital excess, broker never has to buy the shares, ever, and keeps the money investors, household investors paid uh, for the shares. And uh, this is the crucial point uh, why we have this huge problem on the market right now, because uh, all of uh, the wrongdoers, they are trying to uh, push uh, this uh, can down the road for as long as possible in their fail to deliver uh, problem, so-called problem. It is not a problem for them because, and we know it because of uh, the regulator's activity. And uh, when the company goes bankrupt, uh, they have a pure, pure profit out of uh, thin air. And uh, this uh, problem definitely should be solved and we are fighting to do this. So let me show you another quite interesting tweet uh, regarding the share count on AST. Meta News wrote this, only 69 million shares left. Verified plus McKay plus Burda shares equals to 46,916,986. Total share spending uh, with AST and verified uh, in an AST. Uh, 179,673,449. And uh, total shares left to be transferred over to AST is uh, just a little bit more than 69 million. And uh, with this number, we already exceeded the initial 168 million shares that uh, was issued uh, to MMTLP shareholders. But we have an additional, additional number of shares uh, uh, because of uh, the changes uh, in uh, the our grand prospects. And uh, for now, we have uh, 248.8 million shares. And guys, let me remind you that according to S1 statement of Nance Bridge Hydrocarbons that they published on July 26th, um, basically, let me quote you this. Further, in order to be an eligible holder of shares of Next Bridge common stock to the subscription rights, holders cannot be 1. A bank, broker or other nominee that is determined by the company in its sole discretion to be holding shares for other entities or individuals or 2. A beneficial owner of Next Bridge common stock that is being held by a bank, broker or other nominee. As such, to the extent that a shareholder holds uh, its common stock uh, through a broker and fails to directly register its stock with the company's transfer agent, then such stockholder will not receive the, subscri the subscription rights described in the prospectus included uh, as uh, part of the form S1. And guys, what I'm trying to tell you, it is quite simple and quite obvious. We have uh, a lot of uh, retail investors who hold uh, next bridge hydrocarbon shares because of uh, the transfer from MMTLP. And uh, we know that uh, some of uh, companies, uh, some of banks and broker dealers who hold uh, these shares for their own names, they will not be eligible for uh, this uh, spin-off, for this uh, dividend. And this means that they will not transfer these shares uh, to AST. And guys, I want to tell you that uh, if someone of you has uh, the list uh, of institutional investors at the very end uh, of uh, trading sessions of MMTLP, please share it with me because uh, with this data we can exclude these uh, broker dealers and banks. We can exclude them uh, uh, from this number of 248 million uh, shares. And uh, this means uh, potentially we already achieved uh, uh, the total number of uh, shares that should be transferred to AST because of uh, this latest data. And if it already happened, definitely we have uh, all the data that uh, might help us uh, in the litigation processes. And uh, this means uh, the victory is uh, around the corner. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the